going on, y'all? It's your boy Sinister, the top of the morning. I hope everybody feeling good, feeling great, feeling blessed. Working hard to be successful. But before we get into this video, you already know we got some business we need to handle. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop brand new videos. And now let's get into the video. Alright, y'all. So I'm out here in uh Romeoville, Illinois. I got up this way from South Carolina. Sunday? No, I got up. I got up this way Saturday. So I was parked out of TA. I mean a petrol. And I sat yesterday, sat today, and this morning. Well, last night I had to get fuel. The wind was cutting. That wind was cutting. It was. It was just treacherous. It was treacherous. It's treacherous right now. It's seven degrees. And the tractor brakes were stuck to the drum. The trailer brakes were stuck to the drum. And it's just been it's been crazy. I had to put some anti-gel uh in the tanks for the reefer. For the tractor, then I had to get fuel last night because I started running low on fuel. So I disconnected from the trailer. And the truck went, I couldn't move the tractor. So I'm rocking it back and forth to try to get the, the brakes to break from the drum. Then I had to go on my side box, I had to fight to get my toolbox. Cause I got all of my chains is loose in my side box, so it's hard to get around all the chains. And it was just Arctic cold. So anyway, this morning I get over here to the receiver, and there's a Maverick truck driver here. So he comes out, he's put the key in his door. He trying, I'm like, he look like he fighting to get the key. So I'm like, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking, cause I'm parked behind him, like at an angle. So I'm like, I wonder if he's if his lock froze though. So he come running over to the truck. He's like, yo, you got any WD-40? And I'm like, nah, I ain't even got none, but I got something I'm gonna try. So anyway, we go to his truck and he was like, look, you know, I put the key in, that's all it does. It doesn't even turn. So I'm like, all right, bet. I said, you know what? I just bought this and I said, let me try it out. So Blue Turbo is the name of the product. It heats up to 2300 degrees. Um, I don't think there's a, a refill or anything like that. I didn't see it when I bought it. Um, on the knob, you turn it. All right, well. I know it's gonna be opposite because the way I'm looking at the camera. So you turn it to the right on the device and it closes it. Turn it to the left, it opens it. And then over here on this side, um, you can low flame all the way to a high flame. You might not be able to see that on there. So let me see. So I bought two of these, but like I said in one of my other videos, um, I gave my little brother Shane one. So anytime that your lock freezes up, um, what I did, instead of putting the torch to the keyhole on his truck, since that rubber is around it, I, he I heated up the key for it. So I heated up the key enough where when it went in there, it warmed the, the locks, you know, the little pins in your lock. Or whatever was frozen in there. And guess what? He got in his truck. So I did a good deed this morning. I feel good. You know, I get he was like, man, thank you, thank you. And I'm like, hey, listen, no problem. I said, but go get you one of these. I think I spent like $12.99 for this at the TA. So get yourself a torch if you're a truck driver. Get yourself a torch, even if you're not a truck driver. Get you one of these. 
because you never know when this is going to come in handy. Now, the only problem is, let's say you have this, but you're not inside the truck to get it. So I don't know what to do on that part, but um, I think now that it's cold, I think it's the best time to start making sure that your locks is greased up and you know everything is lubricated. Make sure that your oil is good. Make sure that you got extra supplies in your side box. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping maybe later today. Pick up some items. Um, I'm gonna try to pick up another one of these. And I forgot, oh, I know where I got this from now. It was the petrol on I-80 over there in, uh, what is that petrol? Is that Gary, Indiana? It's across the street from my loves. But check petrol or check the, t this was from a petrol. So, um, I'm gonna go maybe pick up two more of these and just keep them on deck. But anytime that your brakes get stuck to the drum, you can turn it, you can adjust the flame right here, and then you push this in. There you go, see? So, and then you just turn it, it locks it. See? So you turn it to the right, it closes it, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, flame out, and then it doesn't get hot in the front. So that's the good part about it. the The nozzle doesn't get hot. So, um, like I said, extra high temperature, twenty three hundred degrees. So, get you one of these. Anytime them brakes get stuck to that brake drum, hey. Get up under that trailer. Make sure you release your trailer brakes. Get you some, um, I think it's ABC airline. Uh, something you could pour in your airline. But anyway, get under there. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. And it's quick. But, you know, that's why I say buy extra one of these. I don't know if Walmart have these. But it's called uh, Turbo Blue. And this video is not sponsored by Turbo Blue. I'm not sponsored by this video, but I just wanted to give everybody the name so y'all know what it is. Um, besides that, um, have your, your hammers, your mallet, um, some rubber alcohol, because you can put the rubber alcohol in the airline, feed it to the trailer, brakes, help release it. Um, when it gets real cold, right now it's seven degrees up here. Be sure to uh, put some anti-gel liquid in your tanks, your reefer tank as well. So that gel don't, uh, that fuel don't start gelling up on you. You already know below 30 degrees that gel, that fuel start gelling up on you. Well, the diesel fuel start gelling up on you. Let me move up a little bit. So, but yeah, but besides that, it's a good morning. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I got to take this trailer to the yard. Got a flat tire. It still inflates, but it's a bad tire. And three of my clearance lights at the top of the back of the trailer is out. And, um... It is what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I hope this video helped a lot of y'all out. New truckers, hey, this is not too expensive. Get you this. Get you maybe two. Get you three. Because you never know. I don't know how many uses I can use with it. But I'd rather be prepared and be ready for a situation instead of being in a situation and not being prepared. Because it's cold out here. This winter is treacherous. No games out here. Um, what else? That's it as of I could think of right now. But 
you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. I hope this definitely help a lot of y'all out. Truck drivers, non-truck drivers. And be sure to uh, let me know if you get you one, how you like it. Alright? So it's your boy Sinister. I holla at y'all. And I'll talk to y'all on the next video. Peace.